All right, what's up, y'all? And welcome to the 30th episode of Teaching Tuesday. Um, let's see. This week, we are going to dive into what's a somewhat advanced concept. Um, that's the one diminished chord. So um, there are a few examples of this, actually, where it's built into the tune. And... Um, the ones that I can think of are uh, UMMG by Duke Ellington, the Upper Manhattan Medical Group, and um, Corcovado uh, by Antonio Carlos Joe Beam. Um, so, uh, yeah, but I'll get back to that in a minute. So, so the one diminished is kind of a, a cool um, device you can use even when it's not built into the tune and you can kind of just superimpose it um on the tune and it can kind of it's it's kind of like a substitution so you can basically play it and then resolve it to the one major so so just say i'm in the key of uh, e flat major it'll kind of sound something like this so So instead of just going straight to the E flat major, we go. Okay, or um, yeah, I'll look uh, and it's with some different voicings. We can do the same thing, right? Um, instead of just going, we have. Okay, so that brings me to my next point, which is that this device works especially well when you have certain notes in the melody. Um, and that is, th the notes that I like the best are the ninth and the seventh. And those are the ones I just kind of played. The first one, uh, the ninth, and the second one, the seventh. Those sound really good over the one diminished and you know, also the um, the just the the one major. So if you see what I did there, I just kept that note on the top. I kept the seventh and the ninth on the top, and I moved the bottom voices um, from a diminished sound to a major sound. Um, so uh, yeah, in in Corcovado, it basically um, let me see. It goes. Kind of in a different key now, but it goes from the seventh to the sixth, and this, and when it has the seventh in the melody, it it's playing a one diminished, and then uh, resolves to the major when, the, when it's on the sixth. So I'm in the key of F major there, and Upper Manhattan Medical Group, it goes. So that, and we're in the key of D flat there. That one is a little more odd. It goes from the flat six which is an extension, another well, kind of more, um, less uh, common extension on the diminished, and then goes to the regular six. So that, that one's a little more odd, but, okay, so back to the key of E flat, I have a couple of um, licks. Um, so, actually, sorry, let's backtrack a little bit. So, um, for the voicings, basically the ones that I did earlier, so for the one with the ninth in the melody, we're gonna take basically just the D7 sharp nine. And I know that that's a little confusing, but a D7 sharp nine, if you think of it, is just basically a, a E flat diminished, um, but without, without the root. So just imagine there's a low E flat there. And then we're gonna, so it's, and we're just gonna resolve that to just a regular root position, E flat major nine. So we have D, F sharp, C, um, F, to E flat, G, D, also F. Okay, and then the other voicing I played, so it's gonna go from there to there. So we have this kind of weird diminished chord, not so common actually. So we have e, uh, A, E flat, G flat, and D. And then we will resolve that to what is a more common E flat major seven um, voicing, but with the fifth in the bass, we have B flat, E flat, G, and D. All right, and so that's with the seventh in the uh, melody. Um, Okay, so yeah, that's our little mini lesson uh, around one diminished. Um, 
hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. Uh, thanks for tuning into another Teaching Tuesday. As I mentioned last time, this Patreon is up and running. So if you want PDFs of this Teaching Tuesday, as well as all 29 other Teaching Tuesdays and the ones um, coming in the future, you can subscribe to the Patreon and get access to all that and uh, eventually more to come um, on that front as well. So thanks for tuning in to the 30th episode of Teaching Tuesday, and I'll see you next week.